30-year-old Eric Gutierrez, a laborer at Mahogany Bay Resort in San Pedro, is dead after he reportedly took his life while in police custody at the San Pedro Police Station. Police say they were alerted of the incident only minutes after Gutierrez's detention on Sunday morning and that when they responded, he was already unresponsive in the cell block. Sometime around um, 3.15, the diarist on duty at the San Pedro police station heard other prisoners um, screaming for help. When he went to the cell block area, he saw a male prisoner that was um, detained around 308, who was then identified as um, Eric Gutierrez, 30 year old, um, hanging from a white, what appeared to be a white T-shirt was tied around his neck and um, affixed to the metallic area above the cell block door in the middle cell. The police department's communications director, ASP Fitzroy Yearwood, said that CPR was administered but to no avail and Gutierrez was rushed to the San Pedro Polyclinic where he was pronounced dead. Yearwood explained that while the police removed everything they believed detainees can use to harm themselves, the t-shirts they are wearing is not one of those things. We don't normally take away your t-shirt that you're wearing from you. We would take away your belt, laces and so forth. Um, he was placed in a cell with another prisoner and that other prisoner was the one that alerted the officers. This is within a span of less than 10 minutes. They tried their best to see what they could have done to save his life. It would also be inhumane if we take away your shirt and pants and have you in a cell naked. Suicide is something very difficult to stop. Gutierrez was detained pending a charge of harm that was filed by his ex-common-law wife that morning. But today she told us off record that they, like any other couple, had their challenges, but nothing out of the ordinary. She said that she did not feel that the t-shirt he was wearing was long enough for him to use to hang himself. Gutierrez, according to sources in San Pedro, had been in trouble with the law before his detention on Sunday morning. But Yearwood said that police brutality was ruled out from the get-go. We have our investigators on the scene from the discovery of this body. And um, of course, that, already, that was already ruled out. Like I said, it's an unfortunate case that it took place in our cell block. But we are not just brushing away. We have to investigate everything. Yearwood said that a statement was also recorded from Guterres' cellmate and that there's no indication that he was involved in the death. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.